are in the audience who have seen our, our, our Lucy Cabral, but um, it was uh, on one hand unique because the, the, uh, the work is very intense and physical and uh, I must say uh, the three years touring with Lucy Cabral, uh, what came out of this work, all, all the um, uh, how does <laughs> yeah <laughs> the uh, yeah no what what I want to say I can compare it with with my with my theatre uh, what what we did in Austria and I call it sometimes the Jausen Theater I don't know if you understand the Jausen Theater it's in uh, in Austria when we work we we smoke a lot of cigarettes and we talk a lot it's a lot of discussion here with Simon it's like uh, it's like in the Wild West you shoot and you, you hit it or you, or you don't. They tended to, to attract the kind of young audiences who would normally go to an alternative comedian's gig, but not to the, the theatre. In those early shows, unmentionable things tended to happen to food and clothing. The stretching capacity of lycra would be pushed to far from ladylike limits. And in one show, uh, a couple shaking with sexual frust frustration because they couldn't get rid of his mother, inflicted on a plate of cream cakes all the erotic indignities they would dearly have loved to have inflicted on one another, if only they could have got rid of her. The result looked like a cross between a page from the Kama Sutra and a custard pie fight. Running through all of this early work, there was the theme of fear. <laughs> Someone with a drunken song, why not? And it was uh, the most beautiful uh, evening, our last evening, because suddenly, um, not only the show, it was the last day of the show, but actually the song came home, which was very beautiful. I mean, we're talking this, this prize, this prize that we've been given is for new realities, and this word, word reality is absolutely crucial. I mean, the theatre exists as a real moment, which is, you know, that moment exists and then it's gone forever. And the point is, is that from night to night that changes. I have seen um, uh, uh, Tim is, you know, Tim is holding himself together, uh, you know, she's standing with her feet apart, normally does, but uh, we are all uh, uh, actors, so it is quite easy for us to stand and to find the place to stand. Uh, uh, I mean, if, if uh, uh, Vera, are you an actress? No. No, you're not. Okay, so Vera, come up on stage. <laughs> if you come, you go to one side. Go to one side. So, uh, uh, Vera, you, uh, if you walk a moment on stage, just walk around, yeah? Now, uh, Vera is not a, an actress. So, what? You were a dancer. All right, okay. So, uh, uh, could, you, could you keep walking a moment? Just walk around. And this is, here we, sto we start with the simplest possible thing of somebody walking on the stage. And this, theoretically, is walking as she walks in real life. Um, and we observe it. Keep going. Yeah. We observe it. And it has a... Keep, no, keep, keep on walking. And it has a, uh, it'll, it has a particular rhythm. We look. It goes. It's quite relaxed. The whole... Uh, 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 yeah, it's not really a, a problem. She already feels my following her. It starts to change a little bit. It's maybe uh, 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 one of the things that we notice is that uh, she has a specific tension within her body. Uh, if Tim walks around the stage, try to walk normally, Tim. Uh, uh, it, is, it is already a completely different tension. Uh, uh, his head is coming forward, 
uh, there is a, a uh, uh, the masculine muscles of the body, the physiognomy of the body, of course, is slightly different. Here he starts to play. Uh, but it, could, could, I, could I, are you an actor? The undulation at the point of the knees, it, it will highlight something about the body. So if you move around with only your knees, of course, you start to, uh, I mean, it's extremely stupid, I know, but you start to perhaps uh, imagine, uh, uh, you can imagine uh, 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 people. Certain people do actually move through life like this. What is interesting about the knees is that it is a point of balance. In the body, it is a point of balance. So that as a child is learning to walk, of course, the knees are... The, 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 the knees are very important, so that, um, you know, we've all had the experience of two and, uh, of, of, of one-year-olds trying, trying to find their balance. And the, the, the balance of the body is, uh, is uh, uh, um, uh, here. Now, that's not to say that these knees therefore necessarily mean that it, you know, its way into certain elemental forms, such as the fetus and earth, which is why the, the, the state is called the tragic. It is a state in which no further movement is possible. Um, and again, it is a physical reference, particularly interesting when you're thinking about tragedy, because with the huge... Hey, who is it? Oh. Oh, hey, Vera. Yeah, Vera. Yeah, uh, I was not... Oh, sorry. Vera, hey, yeah. Of course, it naturally pushes you a little bit. Um, <laughs> um, could you get out? That's okay. That's okay. But now we take it down a little bit, just to there. There we go. Um, that's the way. Yes. Thanks very much. Okay, would you like to go? Thanks. Can you can you go? Can you get out of here? We don't want you. You know, I said, can you go? Yeah. Would you like to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. You know, uh, can you can you piss off? Yeah. Thanks. Can you get out? This is we're having a conference here. We're having a conference. Yeah, but I'd like you to get out. We're having a conference here, please. Yeah, steady. Uh, uh, no, I see. Uh, right.